Okay, so uh, last week I bought a 2007 Lincoln Navigator. Surprisingly, it didn't have a backup camera. So uh, I was researching around and I ended up buying this. Hopefully this fits the bill. This is the Nilo Gap wireless touchscreen car receiver for CarPlay slash Android Auto portable car audio receiver with dash cam and backup camera 9.66 inch 1080p HD multimedia player with Bluetooth FM aux TF card easy to install. Uh, yep, so that's <laughs> pretty nice Amazon names here. Uh, but I think it's a cool unit. So I saw the, um, the little videos they had on the page and it looked kind of nice. I can, it looks like it's about the size of a uh, uh, rear view mirror. So here you go, we got the instructions. Here's the unit itself. Here is the USB-C to uh, lighter, socket lighter. Here is the auxiliary cable to hook it up to my auxiliary port. And then here is a backup camera. Uh, it should be 20 feet. There's a little bit of confusion. The uh, one of the QAs said it was 10 meters, which would be like 32 feet, but uh, I'm going to say I think it's 20 feet. Uh, here is a license plate bracket and tape. Uh, this is for the backup camera. So basically you <laughs> screw the backup camera to that. And then here is some double-sided tape for the bottom of this unit and some a different bracket for the camera tape and a screwdriver and that appears to be it so uh, what I can do with this unit is because it is USB-C let me go ahead and power it on test it out right now It also has a 32 gig memory card install. Uh, I had previously unboxed it, but my video was horrible because I'm not a YouTuber. And uh, I reboxed it. So, here we go. Oh, of course, this cord isn't long enough. <laughs> like a foot away. Okay, let me go ahead and move back. This out of the way. This one. Ah, still too far. <laughs> go, let's move that back some more. I thought this was a long cord, but apparently it's only six feet. And this is my own cord, this uh, power cord. So here's the unit. Powers up with a picture of a, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a long 350Z with four doors. Okay, so now you're seeing a big mess of my room. Hopefully it wasn't too embarrassing for me. And uh, yeah, so I guess that is all. So right here you can select uh, DVR. And it shows you the front camera and the back camera, the backup camera, and hopefully that will look good in the car. Uh, I mean, there's like a, a grain on the screen. I'm not sure if that's because of this protector here. Yep, the protector is why it has like a, a grain. I guess there's like spots on the protector. Oops, don't know what I did there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. 
Ja. Ja. Hmm. Nope. No. Okay, I'll have to figure that out later. But everything is working out of the box. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this foot off. So. And then just tape it to my dashboard uh, using probably this double sided tape right here. Maybe I'll cut it into pieces or I'll buy some uh, molding tape and attach it. Now I just have to hope that this can get to the back of the navigator. Um, we'll see. Wish me luck. <laughs>